So I have these uh, pieces uh, stained. I, I obviously uh, sanded them down and now I stained them and then I'm now going to uh, put a coat of poly on them. They look pretty good. I just... And knowing that this is the back side, it's going to be against the window. The facing side is the nice side, so. All right, good enough. First coat, couple hours, I'll do another coat. that considering that they're reused uh, pieces I'm very happy with them put a dent in it already because I dropped it earlier to me pretty much drop everything One of the benefits of working with a dark stain, it conceals more, though it does look dusty quicker. It's a little easier to conceal stuff with it. And all right, that's good. I like it. Let's drill some holes.
Oh, I did not do that right. Because my piece is shifting. It's really good right now, but as soon as I get the, the screw in, it shifts. To ensure my spacing stays where I want it. Right there. I tried the first one. I found I don't like the shape of the head. It sticks out on this uh, trim screw. And I see that now. Um, so the the screws this it's like a, a little bit of a it's not flat like this and the bit that I have for countersinking it you have to go substantially wider than the head of the screw so it defeats the purpose of having the smaller screw so I actually I'm just going to use a regular drywall screw um, five one and five eighths and I like how that's it's seating much flusher. So, weird. So I started uh, doing this one, just getting it lined up. And I will screw that in. So this stained glass is unique in that this side, well maybe I'm just not familiar with stained glass, I'm really not. The back side is very smooth, that's the side against the, the tempered glass that I have, that it came with. And this side is um, got a dimple to it. Just got some dirt or something on here that I need to clean off. I tried cleaning it yesterday some, but it was difficult. See, I'm changing this up now. I think I'm going to go with it this way. So I can put this like this. Should have glued this together on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was hard the first time I tried to put it on too. It's not okay. It is, but it isn't. It's coming apart on me. I cut the inside groove just a little bit more down, and I fit like how it fits much better now. Um, so now I will just have to sand this corner off a little bit, but I'll drill this together and glue this, and it's good.
much happier with that. Just needed a just needed about an eighth of an inch. See how this fits? I actually have to cut it down now. And I figured that because of what I did adjusting the width. All right, so I trimmed that down just a little bit more, cut that groove just a, just a touch more, and uh, it fits much better now. It's not pushing as much against the glass, and it's lining up nicely where I can glue it. Frame is all done. It's glued and I put two screws in it. It's holding up nice. So what I have is I bought all sorts of stuff, different uh, things. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to get exactly what I wanted. These are silver. I really wish I could get these in brass. But the ones I found in brass were only online, and they wanted like 20 bucks for two. Oh, no, sorry. It was a pack of 10. Just not spending 20 bucks on this. So that would have been nice. It's very low profile, but silver. And I suppose I could get silver chain because this has silver in the stained glass, so it really wouldn't affected but I also found this chain this was only 60 cents a foot to decide which way to go with this now that I'm looking at it I'm really liking the silver and the silver chain is, is a lot cheaper, so I can just do that. Um, my final option is this. I found this at Menards actually in a kit. Um, it's supposed to be something with making a, a frame and I thought I could adapt it either put it like this and then run that chain you know bend it open and then bend it back closed and run it off of there but it won't hold it properly so I'd have to like bend this or bend this down and make that so it goes all the way up if that goes all the way up then I could put it backwards like that that wouldn't be bad. That would stick straight up. But I sort of really like this. It's just very low profile. I can go down farther with it. I can go all the way down to there, which would 
still allow me to connect the chain to it there and work um, but give me more meat in the wood to screw into I'm going to bend this and see if it's I'm going to bend this tip here to allow this to bend to go forward because right now it can't because it's got this thing in the way pinch with the pliers right there and now I have that bent so the theory with this one is I could go like that that's not bad either actually that's pretty good I think I still have to bend this though because this still is like not the angle I want. So that I'm going to bend but I'm going to use a towel. really nice thing I want to do is bend this one just a little bit more yep I like that all right from a side angle they look really goofy obviously they look Totally bent, but you're literally never going to see this inside. This is a stained glass. It's going to go in a window. So, that should work. Yeah, that'll hold it. This weighs 20 pounds.
shift it forward, that's why. straight. It's what it is. Bye-bye. <laughs>